welcome. We're at the Autonomous Driving 2014 of Week Connect in Berlin today and tomorrow. And I got Dan Mender from Green Hills with me. And we're going to have a quick chat about um, autonomous vehicles and the future of autonomous driving from his perspective. Um, let's introduce you. Great. Well, thanks for the uh, invitation to be interviewed, Sabrina. Appreciate it. Uh, so far, the conference has been, been great. We really appreciate it, being part of it. But one, one of the things that's been interesting in, in the, the time that we've participated so far is the, the problem that's really needing to be solved. You know, autonomous vehicles and the deployment of autonomous vehicles is, is definitely something that's needed, but it's, it's a very broad and diverse cha challenge that is being addressed globally. When you look at the diverse set of, of people that you have at the conference, from tier ones to OEMs to suppliers, to system integrators to people that provide simulation, I mean, it's a it's a very difficult problem to solve, and a lot of and, and covers a lot of vast um, aspects and requirements. But the need's certainly there, and it's there in a lot of ways. Just in the U.S., um, in the last year. Uh, over 34,000 people have died in vehicle accidents and 95% of those accidents that have happened which was a total of 6 million accidents in that year causing 34,000 deaths were from 95% were from um, human error so just the fact that by placing autonomous vehicles into the marketplace and how that could affect those numbers is is amazing um, there, there are a number of things that are going on too that people that are from from uh, zero to 30, 34 years of age, that's their leading cause of death is vehicle accidents, fatalities. So, you know, from that perspective, there's definitely a reason for our autonomous vehicles. And just from a, from a population perspective, the, the fact that the younger generation you know, is, is expecting and they're much more open to being in that type of vehicle. And then the older generation really needs they, I think they take advantage of that, and, and then even even talking about it from that perspective, you have a different perspective where the older population will want it easier and and simple to use, where the younger population would want to take more control over what they're doing and how they do it. So, you know, there's that aspect. There's another aspect where you not only have to solve the safety side of it, but you also have to solve solve the security side of it. From a safety perspective, the system needs to, needs to be designed and, and certified so that it, it will always do what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. So how do you do that? And, and trying to um, harmonize the regulations and, and the inter interfaces and, and those types of things. It's key that there's some of that going on at your conference today, but there's certainly more that needs to get done there. Yeah, yeah, I got the feeling as well. I mean, the, the agenda raises some some pretty diverse and critical perspectives and, and, and issues that, um, you know, you can tackle from all kinds of perspectives. What would you feel is your perspective? Um, what and and what what's your role in, in this conference? Well, what Green Hills is, is doing for the automotive market and the ADAS market specifically is bringing our, our cross-industry expertise with uh, delivering systems that are designed from a safety perspective and a security perspective to this market. Uh, you know, if you're just to talk about security for a minute, uh, by, 20, by the year 2020, there'll be 152 million vehicles connected to the internet. The holy 2020, yeah. right? Yeah, so we're always <laughs> talking about 2020 today, yes. Right. Yeah, so, but one of those numbers that hasn't been talked about yet today is that, is that large number. Well, that's, that's only 1% of the total devices that will be connected to the internet. And, uh, there's this term that uh, is, I expect it's global, because the Internet of Things, the IoT. Well, the, the 152 million vehicles, that's the Internet of Cars. So we're going to see all these cars connected to the Internet, and they're going to suffer through some serious security challenges where, you know, how do we protect against people getting into my vehicle okay. and causing, you know, taking personal information, uh, causing the vehicle to do things that it wasn't intended to do. So, right. you know, we, we need to, Green Hills is here to, uh, bring bring a knowledge and expertise on how we can help bring uh, our understanding of security and safety to these to these design challenges with the vehicle to X aspects of autonomous vehicles to the internet connectivity aspects to the certification aspects all right. so those are all all pieces that the Green Hills yeah. brings. how are you actually 
realizing um, what you're doing and what your mission is, how, how is that actually integrated, being integrated right now at the moment and how's it, how are you taking it in the next couple months? The next stage of autonomous vehicle, vehicle design is, is really in its early stages. There are various bits and components. There's certainly some great features that were brought up by Audi and, and some of the other people that were here about the, uh, you know, the parking assist and, and the, uh, the other great things that they were showing uh, in their videos here and at CES. But you know, to, to get to where, where they need, where we really need to be to the next stage, you know, we're we're just in the beginning stages of, of helping yeah, okay. with uh, with those designs, and it requires new thought and new new technologies and new capabilities that are just now starting to show up. Yeah, new thoughts the key. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how does how does the the gathering of and the people that are here help you to actually get it a bit further? Yeah, it's and, been great because it what, it opened my eyes on how how diverse the efforts are on, on addressing and solving the, the design challenges, the simulation challenges, the, the performance challenges, you know, all the, all the different challenges that there are in front of you, and, and the, you know, the, the legal challenges, you know, they were discussed today, you know, there's many different challenges that are all being addressed and, and by different, different people in, in different markets, so that, that opened my eyes on how how broad of a, yeah. uh, a scope autonomous vehicles yeah. is. It's been great so far, and we're looking forward to the rest of today <laughs> and then and what will uh, what will be part of tomorrow. Well, we'll be in the States soon, so you... Good. We'll look forward to supporting your event in the U.S. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, okay. Ben.